Welcome back everybody and welcome to lesson four and we're actually going to start getting into the fun stuff now. Um, we talked about variables before, we showed you some math, so let's go ahead and open a window. So let's open an actual window. And there's a few things we're going to need to do when we open our window. Let's go into our file here. And first thing we want to do is we want to hide the main window. So when we run run any of our programs, we've been working in the main window. Well, we don't want to work in that main window anymore. The only time we really want to show the main window is if we're debugging. But we want to start opening our window and give us a nice graphical user. I actually have some sprites on the screen, music going. So let's go ahead and start building that framework. So let's hide the main window by using main win. That hides our main window for us. And let's go ahead and set our window width. So let's say 1024 and our window height of 760. Now, if you guys remember from the previous lessons, we can actually make comments in here. So we can say hide window. Then we could actually go here and say set width and height. So don't be afraid to comment in your code. No, I, I can tell you, I'm you know something really complicated and you have an idea and I'm going to try it this way, write it in there. You go back to that code, even if you get pulled away from it for a while or you haven't worked on a project in a month and you go back to it, at least you know what you were thinking when you write it. Now what we want to do is we actually want to position our window on the screen. We could just set the upper left X and Y to like 10, but and that looks like this. Comment here, set window center screen, and we have upper left X, upper left Y. Punctuation does matter here. So we could just set this to 10 or 10, and it would be 10 pixels. From the left and 10 pixels down from the top but I want to center it in the middle of our screen here so our little command here take display width subtract the window width we're going to go ahead and we're going to divide that by two Then we're going to do the same thing for our upper left Y, but instead of the width, we're going to use the height. Get the uh, the brackets. Basically, the brackets tell us what to evaluate first. I'm going across here and get in that into another lesson. So that's going to center our window in the middle of our screen. So we've set our window width, we've set our window height, we've centered it in the screen. Now we actually need to open our window. Let's go ahead and it's over here. So gotta hit comment. So let's do open. A little fast first. So open. We're going to give our window a title. Say a gaming one. Title of our window. And we're going to say four. This is going to be a graphics window because we're going to do some graphics. And then we're going to say no frame. There's no frame. 
So no frame is basically we're not going to get this button right here. It's going to be disabled. You're not going to be able to resize this window. Just going to stay 1024 by 760. And then we're going to say no scroll bars, NSB. Want any scroll bars shown? Say as. And we want to give our, our window a handle. So the handle is basically the identifier for this window. Whenever we talk to this window, we want to know what to call it. So I'm going to say hashtag gaming. How about gaming? That's the name of our window, Gaming Worlds. Whenever we talk to this window, we're going to use this handle. And so we actually want to actually capture the trap close, which is X in the upper right corner. We press that, we want to capture it to do something. Handle Gaming And we're going to say trap close. We're going to have a bracket here. This is going to actually going to tell us what branch label we jump to. And I'm going to call this gaming world dot bracket and then oh. So when we press the X in the upper right hand corner of our, our window that we're going to open. It's going to look for this branch label called GamingWorld.Quit, and it's going to decide what we do. Once we open our window, we want to wait. That way we can actually see our window. It won't open and close right away. So this will make sure it stays open. And let's go ahead and add our branch label, which is going to be GamingWorld.Quit. So when we come to GamingWorld.Quit, this is where we're actually ending our program. So we're going to go and say close our window. And then we can say end. So that would end our program. Let's go ahead and run this. Our window opens. We can see it's 1024 by 768. You can see that we can't resize our window, so it always stays the side size. We could minimize it. And then as soon as we press the trap close, you can see it closes our, our window. That takes care of the whole thing. So that's kind of a simple program using a graphical user interface, a GUI. Um, I'm going to keep this video kind of short. And in the next one, we'll actually start doing quite a bit more with it. Maybe we'll start putting uh, some buttons on the screen and kind of cleaning it up. But I kind of wanted to show you guys the simple steps to opening a window. So hopefully you guys like the video. If you do, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you in the next lesson, guys.